welcome back to the new video. And guys, before this video starts, make sure you guys press the subscribe button down below. This video is somewhere there, it's so a red subscribe button. And guys, make sure you follow my social medias, be on the pay on the screen right now. As you can see, make sure you go follow my, my Instagram. Just go follow my Instagram, I don't really care, but I'm a Snapchat, to be honest. But today, uh, today guys, I'm gonna be filming. Today, guys, I'm gonna be filming a wheelie tutorial since it's been highly requested on my Instagram. And you guys keep asking me down in the comment sections. Oh, Jamie, how do you use your brake when you're wheeling? How do you do the corners you do? All the swerves and that, how to get to good control when on one wheel doing a wheelie. So, since I deleted my last wheelie tutorial that was I done maybe over six months ago, now seven months ago, I deleted that because I knew it was crap, it wasn't good for YouTube. So, we're going to be making one today. But, guys, let's go. Alright, guys, first of all, as you see, we're on the normal strip right now. Guys, when you're learning how to wheelie, make sure you get a safe environment where you can wheel like a car park, under, underground car park, tunnel in city. Don't join. When you first learn how to be, don't go on the roads, mess around the city on the roads because that's really dangerous guys, for your safety first. Don't do what I do because I'm different to you guys, I've been passing for a very long time. To get a strip like this, turn around, show them the strip. Got a nice long strip down like Kids Cross. You have to come to a strip, it's just in the back of Kids Cross. Or you can go read the strip, I prefer that one because it's wide. A lot of uh, room for you guys to practice. Guys, let's come, come over with me quick. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to uh, do with your bike is have a seat. A seat slightly tilted guys see the problem with my seat is i can't really tilt my seat because it's got something wrong with the, uh, the actual seat post so you can't really tilt it will you come over here quick okay remove your also seat guys you want your seat tilted down like that it's way easier to be like that can you get a balance point way easier but guys you also want to get yourself a good break you don't have to get a bike customized like mine is or like the c100 my brother's got if you get a C100, they're perfectly good bikes, so I prefer the do. But guys, make sure you guys get a good brake, preferably hydraulics. It doesn't need to be a mega expensive brake like the SLX or the, or the, actually the XT. Don't need a great seat like me either. Don't need to change the seat uh, tires either. But guys, let's get on to the first step of the tutorial. The step I'm going to be teaching you guys is that it's still position right now. It's pe uh, pedal positioning. So first, if you face it down my foot right now, I see here, you guys, wait, face it back up again. Guys, you want to push down with your dominant foot. So my ones are right. For some reason, I push down with my, the opposite of my foot. So it's the left one I push down with because I feel it's more comfortable for me to wheel it like that. So guys, come over here for quick. See where my foot is here, guys. You can't see my face right now, but see this? My pedal, make sure your pedal's in line with the frame as you pull up. Because that way you can go back, go back. That way, when you push down, the bike just comes straight up without you doing much. But guys, it is a, a motion where you have to actually do a proper motion to go get in your thing point uh, but, uh, your actual point where you're about to wheelie so you're pedal blah, 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 you're in a position now where you need to wheelie you pull up you go forward and you push down and pull back and it goes like that so guys I'll personally I think you should practice like that first on the spot practice and pushing down with your left foot or right foot no matter what you do just practice doing that at first so you don't have to get the bike up in a wheel, uh, before you wheelie but guys let's move on to the second step alright guys so the second step is gear selection now guys you always ask me this what gear do you really on? What's the best gear to really on? And guys, it does matter about the thing you're doing at that time. For combos, you stay in quite high gear because you're speeding up and you change gears as you go, as you land and as you keep wheeling on. Guys, at start, I say you should be on gear two or gear three. If you have a single speed like I do, single speed at front and turn gears at the back, same as the C100 there, 10 speed and single speed. You guys need to be at least gear four or gear three. A comfortable gear that you can pedal around in that's quite like gear to pick up on. So you can just do this. But guys, a quick disclaimer. Don't be, you don't have to use a brake as soon as you start wheeling. Just your main focus is getting the bike up and actually getting the bike over. But guys, make sure. But in the second, in the third clip, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to pay off the bike. But guys, gear selection three or four, depending on what you're doing. You can switch up the gears and go down from gears as well from there. So, guys, let's, tip, let's move on to tip three. This is tip three. It's how to bay off safely. So, let me turn around quick. Don't go too far. Stay in your appropriate gear to wheelie. And guys, remember to push down with your left foot, and move the bike up, pull forward and pull back, and bring the bike up. Guys, let's see if you have to pay off. Say I'm not using the braking, I'm just learning how to wheelie. Okay, turn around, actually. My hand is not on the brake, I'm going to slow down, so I'll show you guys. Alright guys, you're wheeling, you're wheeling, you're wheeling, and you bail off. Guys, you want to jump back, because it's the easiest way to bail off without a brake. And catch the bike, or let the bike go. Preferably, just let it run off. Because you love your bike like I do, you don't want to be doing that because you break things and it becomes very expensive to fix. So guys, that's how you bail off. But let's move on to tip four. Alright guys, so this is tip four. Tip four is going to be balance point. Guys, 
Lo and Puppy just said, oh, why not teach you a break? Because guys, when you start the first start really, it's good to start off the break, but I'm, I didn't learn that way. I'm pretty sure my brother didn't learn that way. All my friends haven't learned that way. They learn without the break at first. So guys, let's move on to uh, balance point. So you guys, you're gonna have to follow me to do this. So let's move on. I'll teach you how to do, get into your balance point. And you're in an appropriate position to wheelie, so hopefully you can see. Let me move back so you can see the whole back and how it's looking. This is what balance point is. It's when you're in a close position and you can wheelie without the brake or using the brake as much. So you're in a position where you can just float and keep, uh, keep your balance in a wheelie. So now as I explain that to you guys, let's move on to me showing what I can do my balance point. I want to quickly show you again how to not use your, uh, your brake when you're wheeling the balance point. So you bring the bike up, I'm using brakes, no watch, I'll teach you how to do Set. Your fingers must the brake and now wheelie in an appropriate balance point. And you use it, this, that's how you usually use your brake. My brake's acting up right now because I need new brake pads. Because that's how you do brake, uh, you get in the balance point. Now, guys, let's move on to me teaching you how to do a brake. So that's it's number five, I think. So Alright, guys, so this is the fifth step to learn how to wheelie. This step's going to include brake, obviously. So, guys, let me explain to you how to use a brake in wheelie. So, when you come up right, you're in your balance point. And when you go beyond that balance point, you can tap the brake to keep, your, keep yourself in the balance point. So as you wheel, you do tap the brake slightly like this. Just slightly, not hard, otherwise if you press it too hard, you're going to come straight back down. The balance will come down like that. And you can have a successful wheelie. So you guys, only press it slightly when you go beyond your balance point. So you can slap the brake down a little bit. So you don't go overboard that way. But guys, what a brake usually is, is just make sure you don't go that way. So you make sure you go that way to your balance point. But guys, let's go on to that right now. Alright guys, this is how you use your brake in the thing. So I'm not up here, I'm in my balance point right now, I'm going to change out gears. I see, as you see my hand right now, when I go beyond my balance point, I am pressing brake. So when you go like this, you press the brake. If you go too far like this, you press your brake. So you just tap the brake every time you go back and pass the balance point. Only slightly guys, because don't press too hard, I'm just going to end down like that. Guys, I hope you know how to use a brake now. Guys, let, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll ask you questions if you need any more help, how to use a brake. Let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. Hope you guys have learned. Guys, it's, I want to give you guys an estimate about a week to learn how to wheelie. Not fully, but guys, wheelie like at least a minute or have a successful wheelie. Not swerving about, just in a straight line, have a good successful wheelie. But guys, if you did enjoy the video and you did learn from this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, turn post notifications on. I'll see you guys in the next video.